Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys had a great weekend and happy Monday. So I was finally able to get all this stuff done on the front on my brother-in-law's bike. I'll go over all of that stuff really, really quick before I get into this video. I was also able to get the wheels that he actually wanted, the sizes that he wanted, the description that he wanted. And so he's going to be real happy about that. And I'm, I'm grateful for that as well. I'm very happy about that. So they're supposed to be here within two weeks or so. And uh, I can't wait to get all this stuff back together again. So there's a lot of things that I've been, a lot of small things that I got to take care of. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I've done so far. So I was able to get the bars that he wanted, the riser that he wanted. He wanted the same exact riser. Um, got new, brand new bushings inside of here. I ended up using the original bolts. Um, they're they're good. They're in good condition. I don't like the Allens. I think these are a little bit more secure. Um, they're wider, you know, and I just like them better when it comes to, you know, stuff like that. I'm big on safety. And so I was able to get the forks redone. This bike takes 13.4 ounces in the forks, and that's what I was able to do. Uh, my brother-in-law actually helped me assemble them because it's hard for one person. I don't have the tool to get the spring in there and then get the plug on. And so he helped me. He helped me out with that. So he's got brand new uh, bearings in here, which I mentioned in my previous videos. The bearings are packed. I'm going to shoot a little bit more uh, grease in here just to get it all nice and full. I have not done the actual adjustment on the stem bolt yet. And the reason why is because I have to do the fall away on that. And basically the fall away is getting your, your handlebars completely balanced with the front wheel back on there, the fender, the caliper, the rotor. Um, I'm not sure if I, if I leave, I'm, I don't really recall. It's been a while since I've done one. So I don't remember if we disconnect all the, the hand controls and all that, but Anyways, so um, we got the new crash bar on there with all brand new bolts. Everything's all either stainless steel or grade eight. And uh, yeah, so these babies have not been torqued yet because when you actually do the, uh, the fall away, you want to go ahead. These are actually torqued here. So the plugs were torqued between 60 and 70 pounds. I torqued them like at 65 right in between. The actual fork caps, I torqued at 65 as well. These guys right here call 35 to 40. I torqued them like right around 40. And so, you know, the forks are done. They look amazing. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the same brake lines on here. I haven't really got a chance to inspect them. Um, the clutch, I'm not sure I'm going to use the same clutch. I mean, I think it's fine. The only thing is the clutch cable got faded, but I'm definitely going to change the actual hand controls, the levers, the uh, clams, the clamshells, uh, a new master cylinder for the front. I'm going to definitely change all that. A new air filter. Yeah, so I got the leak that I'm going to be working on. Today, I'm actually going to just go over all the lines, check everything out, clean everything up, and go from there. But if you have any questions about any of the work that I've done so far, um, you can hit me up, and uh, I'll be glad to answer any uh, questions that you guys may have. So hope you guys are all having a great, uh, a great weekend. Um, happy Monday, and let's get started on this video. So today I'm going to take off, finish taking off those brackets. I'm going to take off the rear wheel, um, take all that stuff off so that when the new wheels come in, I can get them out of balance and get them slapped in. And then I'm going to actually check on that while I got the rear wheel off and everything, I'm gonna check on that. Uh, I might have to pull the uh, oil tank off to make sure I get that oil leak fixed up. I'm not gonna be able to uh, go forward on the fronts until I get the front wheel on there and the fender because I need to do the fall away. I was going to try to use the old wheel that's right over there, but it's it's uh, the weight is probably going to be a lot different. And you want to make sure that when you do the fall away, you're going to have everything that's on the bike that's going to be on the bike when you do it. 
And so you don't want a different wheel on there. You want to make sure you got the right wheel, right tire and all that stuff so you can get a proper follow weight. And then I can start putting all the, the new uh, clamps on there, the new brake lines, the new throttle lines on there and get all that stuff done. And I'm going to get them a new K&N for that. And I'm going to get them new uh, master cylinder for the front. And I got all the new grips and everything already for him and the new levers. So uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So let's get started on this guys. Hands are cold. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna order him some new ones because you can see how these are bent. Hey, brother, what's going on, Leo? Leo, I'm gonna end up locking that guy outside. Oh, these are all broken. That's why. So that's why these are all over the place because they're all broken. So we'll toss those, or I'll take one of those to work. Get a new one of those. Did you bring your cigarro? Or si, si. You did? Si. Good. <laughs> I might have to lock Fido out because he like, come on. Maybe we're gonna do this and take a little bit of pressure off. Now I'll take it out. Let's just slide right out. There you go. Oh, you yeah, know what You got the wood in there? Yeah, the pulley's the, in there. The, uh, Oh, okay, that's right, on the, on, the, uh, on the wheel, on the wheel, yeah. It's all right, you know what it is, I have to take the other side off, too. You gotta take this one off? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me, uh... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, this will come off right now. That. Oh, you know what it is? I need to get the belt. I need to get the belt off, too. So what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm taking the, uh, the belt uh, cover off so that I can, uh, the belt guard, so that I can take the belt off. Because I can't take the wheel off right now because of that. And it's easy, there's only two bolts holding the, the, the belt guard, but the one in the front is actually a nut and a bolt. I'm gonna put that nut and bolt back on there so that I don't lose it. So now, I'm going to, oh yeah, go ahead, go up again. Okay, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. It should come down now. Oh, you know what? I got the in there. Yeah, the spacer. The spacers. Uh, hold on one second. Yeah, like this, and this come out. And then right there. There it goes. Okay. You are the man, my brother. You are the man. Right? So, hey guys, I apologize for not moving the camera yesterday. Um, but here's where the other. Uh, bracket was and this is the way they're supposed to look and you could see that the other one was completely torn so i'm gonna have to replace these guys here for his saddlebag brackets after i get the new ones and the reason why the tire i couldn't remove the tire yesterday was because of the belt guard and i'll show you the belt guard mounts right there and then it's got a bolt and a nut that mount right here and so it actually goes just like that, right? And I couldn't get the belt off because of that. And the second reason why is this is how big the spacer is um, in the back. And it goes just like that, right? Sits just like that. And that's why the wheel was pushed over quite a bit. And so I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. That's what I was doing when you couldn't see me. But anyways, let's get back to this video. Let's see what we got on this side. Okay. Oh, it's sleep. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, he's got new rotors. Oh, the, for the bolts, you mean? Okay, so all that came out. Now I'm gonna. You can see the caliper down there in the bracket. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take that off. Yep. Beautiful. You know, if I could have done it, that's off. Bottom one's off. Spacer. His bow looks great too. Bow looks really, really good. So I wanted to show you guys the wheel, right? So I mean it doesn't look real bad. It's got, you know, some rust in there. Surface rust. And his his rotor definitely needs to be replaced. The other side of the wheel looks the same way. Um, you know, his tire looks pretty decent, but they're old. They're, they're seven years old. So they don't recommend that you use those bolts again on the wheel. I pay like a dollar each for them at work. So I'll just grab some when I go back. You know, in fact, I think I already got those. I'm not sure. Let's see. That is off. Anyways, so all that's off. Thanks to my brother. He helped me again. I don't know what I would do without him. And uh, that's about it. So we'll, uh, we'll get back if we're going to take any more stuff off. Other than that, we're just going to chillax in here and enjoy this rest of this day. You guys have a great evening.